Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we've got a new yard toy out here. I'm going to do a customer review on a 2020 Spartan RZ Pro. Let's get started. Well, this is the unboxing, I guess. We're taking it home from the dealership. Brand new Spartan RZ Pro Kawasaki motor, 54 inch cut, radial tires. This is nice. I've been doing the research on this for about six months. I was tempted to go with the RZ, not the RZ Pro. And I decided to go with the RZ Pro because it came with a lot of extras, like the radial tires, which I think they're 21 inch tall, 14 and a half inches wide, I think. Um, the deck. Now, if you're looking for any sort of lawnmower, you're going to need to know the thickness of the deck. This is 7 gauge steel all the way around on the deck. Now, I think it's 5 gauge steel on the edges. I may be wrong with that. I know that the, the one above it is 5 gauge steel for sure. The reason I had to buy it this weekend is because my bush hog ZTR died on me. A spindle went out and took it in to get it worked on and they weren't going to have it back for like two weeks because uh, bush hogs having shipping issues due to the coronavirus and for parts that it needed and I needed something and I've been looking at this one for a while and this is Memorial Day weekend 2020. It's a 2020 lawnmower. They have a Memorial Day sale on at SNH Farm Supply where you get a free light bar. So that is really cool. That's $200 right there. So let's get this thing off. Okay, here it is after I did my yard. Let's see if you can see those stripes. A lot of people say that the Spartan doesn't have stripes or it doesn't have good stripes, and I thought it did really well. Now, this is day one. You see in the video a little bit before. And I bought it, well, it's supposed to rain today, right now, and it didn't do it. So I had to go get this lawnmower because my other one died on me. So I was trying. I was trying to get it mowed before it rained. Well, it didn't rain. It looks really great outside right now. So the only profession where you can keep your job after being wrong so many times. All right. It's the RZ Pro. It's got the uh, Kawasaki motor on it. I didn't want the Kohler whatsoever at all. The Briggs Strad would have been all right, but I was really after the uh, $200 add-on Kawasaki. Now this is really nice. I'm telling you, I went from a I went from a regular bush hog mower that had really not much uh, seating um, comfort at all to this and I'm telling you this is nice <clears throat> now it has five I think five five point five gallons in it a bush hog I think had nine that's one thing that I like better on my bush hog. Uh, once you start going to a bigger mower, I went from a 42 to a 54. My time, now let's see. I've got three plus acres of mowing. A lot behind the house, but 
I know it usually takes me two hours and ten minutes to get it mowed. It took me an hour and like 15 minutes. So just almost it took an hour, it almost halved my time. Now it would be a lot less if I didn't have if I didn't plant all these trees. I will tell you this, it doesn't quite get around the trees as well, but that's because you got a, I got a bigger, well, that's because I got more space in between here. And I tried to use it to help me mow. And I wasn't really sure if I was getting it right, quite right. The radial tires seem to work great. Now, they did dig up a little bit of dirt. Um, it's been raining a lot down here, so the ground isn't perfect, but the radial tires have uh, some sort of a mud traction type on it. You can see up underneath that fender well, it is a little wet out here, not terrible. But it's been raining for like three weeks straight, so. I'll uh, turn on the headlights on it tonight for y'all. I said before that was a free upgrade for Memorial Day. Let's get those stripes. I think it did really well in the stripes. Now I'm having to learn to go from my 42 to a 54 inch cut. So I'm, I'm learning on that. Like I said, I only got an hour and 16 minutes on this thing. Okay, now down here, these little suckers, the, it's got that opening there so you can stick the your air uh, hose in here and blow out the dirt and grass from in here. It seemed to work really well. These are really strong plastic. I know people have complained that they're plastic, but uh, it seemed to me that they uh, you can stand on them even, so uh, they're really strong. I wouldn't recommend standing on it. But... on the light for you. Seems to be pretty bright during the day. We'll see how it is at dark. It's not a bad, it's not very loud when you're on it. I have the, uh, bro, uh, I have the uh, throttle turned all the way up. Right here, you're able to tell how much fuel you have in it. I'll go over some of the specifics with the lawnmower turned off. I hope you can hear me. This is the lights bar. definitely mow at night with this thing. It shoots it out to the side. Let's see if I can get out on the road and I'll show you. Okay. Cool. You could definitely mow at night with this. I kind of take you around the yard to show you. see 
everything. As far as the headlight system in this thing, it is sweet. Now, this thing, this thing shows all sorts of lights to the sides and to the front. It was a $200 add-on from Spartan, but since this is Memorial Day weekend, they gave it to me for free. So that is a really big plus. I was able to see all the way down the driveway and I will be able to see at night driving this thing. Here you get your 12 volt charger of any sort, uh, phone, whatever you need right there. Of course the cup. Uh, you have a code to get into this thing. You also have, as far as, you have an hour meter. You have a clock on this thing as well. I haven't set it yet. Um, the timer for the mowing, it'll time how, uh, how long you mow. Gives your volts and your RPMs. There's volts. The other one was RPMs. As far as anything that needs work, it tells you right here change oil in you know 18 hours. This thing is really pretty sweet. Now here's your light setup. As far as the light system in the front, if you buy it from Spartan, they can put it on in like 10 minutes. Or if you buy it aftermarket, um, everything's plug and play. So you're able to screw it in the front and then uh, install. It'll plug right up into the light system here. So it's everything is really quick. This is your PTO for your blades. And what I like about the uh, PTO on this thing is that it starts slow. So it helps with your belt and your tensioners and all that type of stuff not to be too rough on them. Of course your throttle, your choke. Everything else is pretty normal. There's your inches as far as mowing, deck, deck height. And I use this a lot. I mean, I have a bush hog mower, and I was able to, what I do here is I, I can lock it to where it goes all the way. I can lock it to where it goes all the way down, or if you press it all the way up, it'll, It'll lock it up to where you're, uh, it's like for either transport or if you're mowing really high grass and don't know what's underneath it, like rocks and stuff like that, that's what I use it for a lot. And it's kind of handy because my bush hog had something like this, but it would not, um, I had to do it manually the whole entire time to hold the deck up. This holds the deck up for you. So I actually like this, especially if uh, I got some area in my back 40 that is kind of rough and has some rocks and I really don't want to you know jack up my blades on it okay I enter my code and it has a green light that means it's ready to start I could start it right now if there's anything ever wrong with it it'll have a red light so say this this for instance I did I put the, uh, the I put the arm I put the arm up in a forward position, it's not gonna start like that. And there's gonna be a light, and it's gonna show you what's wrong. Now, if I go ahead and put that back, it goes back to green. And it's got all your little warning lights, and that's in, uh, say, the seat. Say I get up from the seat, it's gonna, go gr it's gonna go red on me. And what that does is, say you're sitting on the seat and that red light's on, it'll show you that the seat sensor's bad. So it kind of tells you what's wrong with your mower as well. So that, that's a cool feature because you're, you're not here guessing what's, what's wrong with your mower. Um, the same thing over here. You need to start it with the brake on. So if the brake is off, red light. So it's ready to go. So that's the case in every little thing. Say your PTO switches up. It's going to have a red light. You can't start it. There we go. 
as far as this goes, mowers are getting so expensive. I think that's a great feature. You're spending five six thousand dollars on a lawnmower, and there's only like three keys made for all different sorts of mowers. So somebody could steal your dang lawnmower pretty easily if that was the case. So this code will also help help as far as uh, theft goes on that type of stuff. Refuses right there. It's that really cool shock I was showing you. Your battery, the fans. The fans are made out of a plastic that is not hard or brittle. That means you're, these fans are going to last a lot longer. My bush hog had like two broken fan blades out of that thing. Now the shock. The shock on that front spring there, that's for your belt tensioner. And my bush hog, it would jump, the belt would, the belt would jump off because the shock, there wasn't a shocker of any sort there. And, the, and that also is the reason why uh, Spartan came out with this mower that has a slow start system as far as the belt, um, as far as the deck, as far as the, uh, the blades. So they start slow, that way there's not such jerking on all this system. And the, the pulleys, the belt, everything will last longer because of this, which I think is a great option because I was having all sorts of problems with it on my bush hog. Now, a lot of people love this, and I, I, I guess I do too. I mean, it puts the seat up at a 90 degree angle. It doesn't go too far too far forward. My bush hog would come forward and hit the, the my bush hog would come forward and hit the pedal here, and it would mess up with the seats and the armrests. Now show you this you can move this as far as backwards forwards that right down here to get your comfort to your desired comfort now I don't even know where I had it and I probably just messed it up but that seems to be pretty cool now this my bush hog was terrible with being able to get to the to the deck and this one just folds right up. It's made out of a heavy gauge steel and with this rubber pad on it with the, uh, the Spartan on it. It's really cool. There is an option for one of these uh, shoots that mulches your grass a lot better. Don't know if I'm gonna get one of those. It has a handle up here too to where you can move it. And I think that's a great idea as well. Go Kawasaki. I can't see that this is, I can't see that any of them are better than this. I would, bought, I would have bought a Briggs and Stratton if they didn't have a Kawasaki. I think I paid 200 extra dollars for the Kawasaki. If you have any questions regarding this mower, let me know down in the comments. If you're looking to buy one, I'll tell you truth for truth exactly how I feel about everything that you asked me about. This thing is fast. Oh, and I want to tell you one more thing. This, this deck was, okay, this deck, they improved on this year. Supposedly, and I, you know, don't quote me on this, but Xmark had a baffling system in their mowers that the patent ran out. So they, from what I've been told, that Spartan started using that patent. And, and Xmark has been known to have a really good cut. Well... They supposedly now that this is, it's on the Spartan now. 
And I will tell you, it gave me a really good cut. And when I first started riding with it, I was a little concerned. I didn't really know how to use it. I, I hadn't I hadn't figured out this transport system here up here. So I hadn't figured it all out yet. So that might have been part of my problem. But towards the end, I uh, about uh, about 10 minutes into mowing, I figured it out and I got a, a very good cut. Now what this chute does is it now what this deck does i guess the baffling system whatever it shoots that grass way out yesterday i mowed i had to get this lawnmower i've been looking at one for about six months and i had to get a mower yesterday because my bush hog died on me and i took it to get it fixed last week and they told me that it's going to take another week for the parts to come in so i needed a mower fast so I went ahead and yesterday's grass should have had a bunch of clumping and everything. And this thing shot the grass out so far away from the mower, I did not have any clumping of the grass whatsoever. So I am extremely happy with this. And I'll be doing another video on this mower later on to, to tell you exactly how I feel about it after I get, you know, 15, 20 hours on it. But as of right now, this mower is really cool. Road Hard Roadhouse is sponsored by Speedy's Industrial Coatings in Ozark, Missouri. Big or small, they do it all. Powder coating, sandblasting, powder coating, media blasting, they do it all. Tell them Remy. Tell them the Road Hard Roadhouse sent you. I'm going to be doing a better review on this mower as soon as I get some more hours on it. And as always, if you're right or hard, don't burrow.